guys and welcome to another kit review. Alright, so today we're having a look at a kit from Italeri. Kit number is 2751, it's a 148 scale Focke Wolf 190A8. Okay, so on the front of the box we've got, it says there is a decal sheet for six versions. Figure not included, contains one model. Okay, so it will be interesting to see if the versions are just different aircraft in different um, theatres of operation, different pilots, or in actual fact, different variants of an A8. We shall ha have a look, see, when we get to the box. All right, so, beautiful box art. Shows off the Focke Wolf 190 in really stunning picture. Okay, I like that, that's nice. Just shows off its beautiful lines. All right, so let's have a look at the rest of the box. So on the side, what we have here is a brief history of the aircraft, how many were made, its um, basic specifications, what it carried as far as weapons. And you've got the same in French, German, Italian, Dutch, I think. Forgive me if I got that wrong. And as you can see, it has photo etch, a decal sheet, and this kit came out in 2015, and um, having just reviewed the Dragon 40A scale A5, that photo etch looks very familiar. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of the box. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a rebox of a Dragon. Okay, so there you go. There's your six different aircraft. So, let's have a look. Eastern Front, 44. Norway, 45. This is Eastern Front, 45. Lubnitz, 44. France, 44. And Germany, 44. Okay, so, that's the six variants. Italeri's address, etc. on here. Usual read and maintain warnings 14 plus etc etc as you can tell 2015 by italeri okay so this could be a rebox and i'll just check that i know it is a rebox from an italeri kit from a few years back from 2015 but it could be a rebox of a dragon kit all right so let's have a look and see what's in the box First up, yep, decals, looking really good, not yellow, 2015, I wouldn't, I would hope no, and the, yep, most definitely, very sharp, and a lot of detail, a lot of detail for the fuel indicators, warning labels, etc, so that's excellent. That is excellent. All right, we'll have a look at those in detail shortly. Photo etch. That is one packet. Instructions. The other packet of photo etch. Okay, we'll have a look at those shortly. And one bag of sprues. And yes, the clears are in this bag as well. Okay, so that's what you get in the box. Very shortly, we'll have a look at the instructions. And then we'll have a look at the sprues. Okay, so let's have a look, see what we've got in the instructions. Big instruction sheet. Okay, so again, history of the aircraft. Dutch was that last language on the box. My apologies. I'm sorry. Got that wrong completely. Anyway, yep, usual history of the aircraft. It says there were 20,000 units all up. 20,000 Focke Wolf 190s produced from 1941, of which there is only a handful left in the world 
that's a shame actually that is a shame but it is the way things go repeat of the warnings 14 plus on the back we've got just a what is your problem cut out send us off to Italy if you've you know can't find the cockpit or something yeah so let's have a look and see what's in the front page okay so fold outs first page is just your move that a little bit sprue layout as you can tell and this does look very very similar to the dragon a5 kit which i've just reviewed recently apart from possibly having extra weapon stores so the grayed out parts are not used okay you've got photo etch a and b glue this uh, visual warnings now that is your color call outs okay two four six eight ten twelve fourteen colors gives you the name gives you an fs number and um, also the Italeri paint number that's what it gives you so internet uh, research as far as your particular paint manufacturer is concerned most paint manufacturers actually left there like but they have will give you the colors specific to the aircraft or that um, uh, nationality okay so first up and yes this is why it looks very familiar to similar to the dragon kit because it starts off the same instrument panel fold goes into the cockpit bucket and in actual fact it looks very very similar in the construction methods as well okay so that would be interesting all right so carry on same again a little bit more simplified i think but same again fuselage goes together cockpit bucket goes up to underneath cowling goes together and goes on okay so next step after that is your wheel well and top and bottom wing going together my bad so you've got on this particular a eight um cannons wing weapons going in so i would be tempted to leave that to last because um with all the other fiddling around chances are you're going to break those off very early in the piece and that would be annoying undercarriage goes together propeller and then that all gets fitted to in step six Fit as a bottom of the aircraft, front of the aircraft, and then we get to seven, which is, as you can tell, okay, it is a, what would you call it, cannon pod, I guess, would be the easiest way to describe it, okay, so put together your cannon pod, so you can make this an extremely heavily armed um, A8 extremely and then you've got drop tank okay so these are your drop tank racks or your bomb racks that go underneath the aircraft and then rack extra fuel tank goes in the belly of the aircraft there's your uh, additional cannon pods for the wings and then it goes to the cockpit so this is exactly the same as the Dragon A5 kit, which from 1992, which I reviewed. So mm, that's why it seems familiar. Okay, so next step is decals. There are even decals for the drop tank, etc. So decals are very comprehensive as far as warning labels on the aircraft, 
take us on your drop tank, fuel points, walkways, etc. And then you've got your colours. So this has decals for six aircraft. So as I said before, top one here, Eastern Front, 44. Norway, 45. Okay, so bring that down here. Operation Bolden Platt, January 45. All right. Lobnitz, November 44. And yes, they do have pilot names on there, so it's pilot specific. France, 44. And Germany, 44. Okay, because it has the, oh god, I can't remember the German name for it, but basically the stripe, which indicates it is for the um, Reich protection. Okay, and that is the instructions. Let's have another look at the deagles. Very comprehensive. I'll actually bring it a bit closer. So, kill marks. Squadron insignia, All right? That one there, and that one there are for your propeller nose. Uh, this is your Reich protection stripe, which I would normally paint rather than use a decal. And your walkways, warnings, labels for the fuel um, drop tanks, more warning labels for the wings, the ailerons, etc. And of course, your usual German crosses. So the decals are extremely. That's interesting. Worn there. So that's obviously deliberate. And they are by Cartograph. So they are very good quality. Okay, that's the decals. Let's have a look at the sprues. Okay, so here we are back again, and yes, a clue that this was, as I said, a rebox of a Dragon kit. It says it right there. Made in Hong Kong by Dragon Models, imported by Italeri Spa, Italy. Okay, so this is a rebox with um, updated parts of the Dragon Fokker Wolf 190A five which i did a review of and that kit was from 1992 this kit is from 2015 okay so first up here are the photo etch exactly the same as the dragon kit pilot seat belts rear of the cockpit instrument panel so beautiful detail absolutely nice nice ring aerial which you probably won't may not use on this particular variant so yep dragon quality i love it okay so next we'll have a look at the clears again cockpit very simple cockpit, front and back. Okay, very nicely done. Gun sight and very clear. Yep, a couple of specks of dust from static, but apart from that, yep, that's beautiful. Okay. Clear. All right, so first up. Let's have a look at the fuselage. So if you've seen the uh, my Dragon Bock Wolf review, you'll recognise this as well. Same detail. There is a ridge here, as you can see, with flash on it, which is a join between... And these... Plastic, I don't know if you can see slightly different tones. So obviously at some stage this was 
possibly even a um, upscaled 72nd scale kit. Not sure about that, but it obviously had at some stage a separate tail, which I've seen on some very early, early kits. And then at some stage they've decided to actually just join them. So yes, you have got a ridge there, which will need to be removed and flash. Same on the other side. You've got a join here, which will need to be sanded down and the flash removed. But apart from that, the detail is nice and crisp, including locking points and hinges, etc. So that's really nice detail. The blades are very paddles. There are a set of blades on here which is not used. And I believe, let me just check the instructions, that, nope, those are the ones that are actually used. So these paddle blades are the ones that are actually used on this aircraft. And I would want to check to see if the A8, A5s actually used blades that look like rowing paddles. Okay, so that might be something to have a look at later on. Okay, so that's the fuselage. Next comes up. Next comes up the wings. Same as the Dragon Kit, cockpit box, tyres, top and bottom, detail is really nice and sharp as usual. As you can tell, you can see the access hatches. So there are slight modifications for this, for attaching different stores. So as I said, this is a rebox of the Dragon Kit but it does have updated and new parts in it. So, although it's a rebox, it has similar parts, it will create a completely different variant of the Focke Wolf. Okay, so next we will have a look at, so here we are, the wheel well, these blades are not used in this kit, wheel well has really nice detail, including wiring, so that's beautiful, same as the Dragon kit. So, this one is exactly the same as a Dragon Kit, except it has these additional parts, okay? So these are all your fittings for the um, bomb rack, fuel tank rack, and pilot seat, and main undercarriage legs. Okay, so that's that one. So I'll give you shots of these anyway. Those. So, what you have next is these two additional. So these are not in the Dragon Kit. And I'll put that aside. So what you have here is the wing cannon. Alright. So, that's your drop tank bomb, actually. And your wing cannon with the pod. So it is a nicely detailed cannon, beautifully detailed cannon actually. 
So if you want something that's going to stand out on the shelf, I'd definitely be arming this um, A8 with these wing cannons. And the last screw is this one. So this is just a drop tank. The other one had bombed on it. And your engine cowling. All right. Detail is the same as the Dragon Kit. A little bit upgraded, I think. A little bit sharper. But still, really nice. Really nice. Okay, so that actually brings us to the end of this review of the Italeri Focke-Wolf 190A8. As I said, it is basically a rebox using Dragon parts for this kit with updated parts. So this will actually create an A8. The other kit that I reviewed was an A5 from 1992. Okay, so hopefully you got something from this review. I know I did. I didn't realise these were basically the same kits. So um, anyway, we shall see how they come out. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.